Hi students. Question number fourteen. Video fourteen. By redrawing instead of redrawing method, auxiliary projection method, and hence this is solid fourteen point one. Video fourteen point one. Same square prism drawn in question number fourteen. Drawn in auxiliary drawn using auxiliary projection method. Same simple position elevation and plan. Then the axis has to make thirty five degrees to VP. What we do is draw an x one by one. Draw an x one by one through CD. So that the angle between the axis and x one by one is thirty five degrees, and this is kept as the plan. This is kept as the plan, and you will draw a new elevation over here. You have to draw projectors perpendicular to x one by one. Projectors perpendicular to x one by one. You have to be extremely careful in doing that. Projectors perpendicular to x one by one. Take the distance of the previous elevation from x y and mark on the respective projector to get the new elevation. A dash, e dash, h dash, d d dash. A dash, e dash, h dash, d dash. <coughs> This much away from x y. So mark them on the projector through A to get what A one dash D one dash E one dash and H one dash. Then B dash F dash C dash D dash. This much away from x y. Mark them B one dash C one dash F one dash, G one dash, O dash and P dash this far away. O one dash, P one dash. You are looking in this direction. Which square face will be visible? This square face will be visible. E F G H. Make it firm. 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 For what is dotted? This side, the CD will be dotted. You know, this is axis chain. Plan X Y elevation. Plan X Y elevation. You get it? Plan X Y elevation. Now, this is not sufficient. This is not sufficient because the edge CD on which it is resting is now perpendicular to HP. You can see it is perpendicular to X one by one. All these angles are made. Okay. So this is not sufficient. What you have to do? You have to draw a new plan for this elevation. You have to draw a new plan for this elevation. What is the condition? The condition is the edge CD on which it is resting should make forty-five degrees to the x two y two. So extend this at. Forty-five degrees. Draw x two y. Now, when you draw x two y two there, you are going to draw a plan there. So you have to mark x two here and y two here, so that when you make x two y two horizontal, the elevation should go above x two y and plan should come below x two. That will be more comfortable. Otherwise. You have to extend this side, and somewhere here you have to draw x two y two, so that this all these things will mix up. So I prefer that side. Or you can take it uh, like this. Okay, I'll change the position of x two y two for you to be more, you to become more comfortable with the orientation. I'll change the x two. This is b one dash. This is b one dash. I'll make x two y two. I will make x two y two here, so that this angle is forty five. This is plan. This is elevation. So this is x two y two. You are going to draw a plan here. Agree? 
If you draw x two by two, what happens? The top surface is nearer to x three. If you draw x two by two here, what happens? The bottom surface is nearer to x three. Agree? That difference will come, but that doesn't make any complication for us. Okay, draw a projector as perpendicular to x two by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There must be nine, and there must be ten. Four plus four plus two. Okay. Now you have to take each distance. The distance of the previous plan from X. So you are going to draw a new plan. So distance of the previous plan from previous X. Y. Which is the previous plan? This is the previous plan. Which is the previous X. Y. X. One by one. So you have to set off those distances. C D zero distance. So on the projector through C one dash, you will get C one. And D one zero distance. A B this far away. Take that and on the projector through A and B mark off. Let me approximately mark. Okay, this is B one and this is A one. Then G H this far away. G H. Actually, okay, G H. This far, G one, H one, E F. This far, E, E F one, E one, P. P one, O, O one. Now you have to connect elevation plan, elevation plan, plan. You are looking in the that that direction. The base is nearer to HP. I mean the top is nearer to HP. The base is away from HP. And since it is away from HP, you will see that ABC will be visible. A B C D. Then A A D E H will be visible. A D E E H will be visible. Okay, now you may wonder how I am marking this firm and not layers. You may wonder how I am. Marking this firm and dotted lines. Simple visualization. Simple visualization. That visualization takes some time. You need more experience to visualize quicker. If your experience is less, you may need more time to visualize. That's all. But you will be able to do that. You are. You are. I have asked you to make the models. If you have made the model, you can definitely do it so quickly. Okay. This shape and the previous shape slightly dotted and firm lines change to differ because in the previous redrawing method the base is kept nearer to HP and the top is away. Here the base is base is the one which is on VP. Base is away from VP, away from HP, above HP, and the top is nearer to HP. So the dotted and firm will interchange. That's all the difference. So this takes much less time compared to redrawing method, but you need to have some sort of good understanding. Actually, the uh, x two by two, uh, x two by two can be drawn here, and the plan can be drawn here. But this will mix up with the plan. That's the problem. It will mix up with the plan. Agree? Otherwise, that would have been more easier for visualization. Okay. Thank you.